Good afternoon everybody, this is a small operational video to show the people that own these machines how to use them correctly. First of all, we have to make sure that the rollers are the right distance apart. If you look down in there, you can see those rollers going in and out to a certain extent. You can see them closing up now. We're going to crack oats. And normally speaking we need around about a millimetre gap for oats. We've also got some mixed grain there that we're going to put through a few times. Um, just so that um, people can see that it will actually do mixed grain. So here we go. That's pretty close to a millimetre there. You might be able to go a little bit closer. Righto, we'll give that a go. Now before we put the grain in, we always shut the trap door. Shut, shutting the trap door is a simple operation. Over on this side. That's open, that's shut. Turn it on. Pour the grain in. Now what we do is that we use that trap door to get the flow right. We don't want to put it through too fast, otherwise you just jam it up. So we'll hold this bucket under the chute. We open up that trap door. We're not getting any crack. So that means we need to adjust the rollers even closer yet. So I'll shut the trap door off. Put the grain back in the top. Actually the oats is cracked a little bit, but we could do it slightly more than that. So we'll wind those rollers in a touch more. By this little handle here. That might be enough maybe a little bit more. Okay, we'll give that a go. As we can see, we've got fairly well crashed oats. because if you open it up fully you will feed it more than it can handle. You can see down there that the gap is fairly close. So that's for oats. Now we'll try some mixed grain. So we'll shut that trap door again. We'll put the grain in. It's imperative that you don't it's imperative that you don't put the grain in with the trapdoor open because all you'll do is stall the grain cracker because it can't start up under load. But as long as you have that trapdoor shut when you put your grain in, then you can um, put your open up your trapdoor once your machine's running. Turn it on. Right, we'll put this grain through and see how we go. Yeah, 
Oh, look at that, beautiful. going to do is we're going to put that grain through a second time with the roller. Just turn that off. We're going to put that through a second time with the rollers closer. So what that will actually do is create them even finer. So we shut that trap door again. Well actually we might open it so that we can just see how close those rollers are and then We'll adjust it as it's running. everybody one thing one thing we don't we want to warn everybody is that don't wind the rollers in until they hit one another it doesn't help them very much but as you can see this grain here is fairly well crushed up we could still put that through a, a third time if we wanted to but it's probably not a lot of point it's um more than we need for the uh, best nutrients of animals. This machine is completely Australian built, all made out of out of uh, steel. There's no no weak plastic parts about it. It's very simple to use, and we've sold quite a few of them in the recent months. So good afternoon everybody, have a great day.